Supreme Court handed down a ruling today that could benefit some people charged in the January 6th attack at the U.S. Capitol. The ruling will make it more difficult to charge Capitol rioters. That includes former President Trump. WRL Sean Gallagher shows us how it will make an impact. The images of January 6th are seared into the memories of Americans. Hundreds of people storming the Capitol in D.C. Roughly 350 people there that day faced charges of obstruction. But this Supreme Court ruling may wipe away that charge. Court basically said that that was a broad reading of the statute. NC Central Law Professor Irving Joyner says the court striking this down is massive for those facing this charge. Wiping this out means they will not face the maximum sentence of 20 years for an obstruction charge. For every person who is convicted of an offense, uh, the uh, uh, vacating of any particular charge is a big issue. That's people like William Todd Wilson, leader of the North Carolina chapter of the Oath Keepers. He pleaded guilty to conspiracy and obstruction. Now the latter should be removed from his sentencing. I didn't do any violence. I didn't do any catcalling at the law enforcement officers. But people like Steve Baker won't see any relief from this ruling. He told WRAL Investigates he was at the Capitol as an independent journalist for the conservative site The Blaze. He faces four misdemeanor charges of trespassing and disorderly conduct. And as that is read and is understood, it does not include physical actions of breaking into a uh, Capitol building. From the governmental office. A WREL database of North Carolinians charged in connection to January 6th shows almost all of those accused of obstruction face several other charges. Sean Gallagher, WREL News. Now, the 6-3 to three vote by the Supreme Court justices did not fall along ideological lines. Conservative Justice Amy Coney Barrett joined the liberal justices against it, saying the majority did, quote, textual backflips to find some way, any way, to narrow the reach of the obstruction law.